Hello! I'm making a last minute appearance since I totally forgot I was about to finish my current bullet journal. So I had to plan and prep my new bullet journal in order to be able to make my November spreads. Welcome to my messy world if you are new. My name is Natalie and I am a full time artist and bullet journalist. But before actually prepping my brand new journal, I want to do a quick flip through of the one I'm currently using. I started this bullet journal on January of 2022, so there is almost one year of themes and pages. I wanted to show you my bullet journal for a specific reason. We tend to always show the brand new pages and various setups, all neat and organized. But during the month, things can get hectic and our journals are the reflection of our lives and everyday life. You can totally tell how I miss some pages, I end up leaving spreads almost empty or totally empty. You have all the expectations when you set new pages. But the beauty of a bullet journal is the way you can customize it. So don't feel bad if it's not pretty or it misses things here and there. The journal needs to shape itself around you, not the other way. Anyway, I'm sure you are more interested in my new bullet journal, so here it is. I'm using the Tsukimori limited edition bullet journal from Notebook Therapy. They kindly sent me some stationery from their last collections and I really fell in love with this color. If you follow my artistic journey with my stationery shop, you know that this shade of green is literally everywhere, so I had to use this. I was about to use my own notebook that I designed in collaboration with Notebook Therapy, but since I have a copy of each of them, I want to keep them intact for the moment and display them. I can always use them in the future if I feel like. Before planning the pages, I wanted to show you a small kit I made to use and to simplify my setup. At first, I thought of using a black pen to make headers and boxes and go over it with a white pen, but I still have to find a very good white pen that really pops on black. So I remembered I am the owner of a sticker shop. So I made a quick sticker set. It's not really cute, but if you are interested in it or just want to recreate the theme, I will leave a link where you can download the stickers, for free of course. There's not really a set way to prepare your new journal. It really depends on the way you use it. A passionate suggestion I would like to tell you is to use a simple setup and or theme. As you can see mine is pretty minimal, but not because I'm into minimalism, totally not, but through the years I found that the more simple it is, the better. Have you ever started feeling overwhelmed by your theme at the end of a month or just fed up and feeling like wanted to get over it and start the new pages? Well, it happens a lot and you have to use them for only a month, so how do you think you will feel using the same ones for a year? This is why I tend to keep it simple, with neutral colors, this way you won't get sick looking at it over and over again. At the end of the day I have a full year of themes to really unleash my creativity and play with color. I was actually inspired by an amazing artist and creator, Stick with Kate. I will leave their handles of their social media down below. They make stunning kits for planners and donors, and I wanted to kind of recreate the style using a couple of gorgeous washi tapes that I got from the washi tape shop. I got sent a bunch of beautiful sets with floral pattern and stunning gold details, and I thought it would have made a pretty contrast with the black. Since I tend to illustrate a lot in my themes, I always miss the chance to use all the washi tips that I have and since I wanted to keep this setup pretty simple, the use of washi tips was perfect. This way I can give an interesting look to the pages while being able to use the stationery. In my last 
last video on my YouTube channel with me, I talked about how I wanted to spice things up while filming, and so I decided to change the perspective a lot. And <laughs> maybe I changed way too much. I asked for your feedback, and one comment stood out, saying that it was throwing them a little bit. And looking again at the video with this knowledge, it really was too much. This is why I decided to take things easy and just play with the zooms in and out to give a proper attention to some details, while still using the over the head perspective. What do you think? Is it better this way? Please let me know, because your suggestions and feedback really helps a lot. Even though I've been filming for YouTube for over 3 years, I still feel like I'm kind of new to the game. Lately, I've been quite good with my YouTube platform. I think I may have found the right workflow for me. I've been more active and worked a lot behind the scenes. I just uploaded a vlog last week, which is doing great by the way, thank you. And here I am with a new video. Plus, I have all the footages from a new vlog. I just need to edit it and I'm done. This week, I'm going to also film my November theme, so there will be even that one. Maybe I have too many videos ready at the same time. <laughs> this one you're watching right now was really a last minute content, as I already told you. So I need to revise my schedule a little bit to fit everything nicely. Talking about the different kinds of video I make, there has always been something I'm curious about. You watchers of my bullet journal videos, do you also watch my city vlogs? Those are more imprinted on my small business and stationery shop, with all the behind the scenes and everyday life moments. I'm not here telling you to watch them if you don't, but I just wanted to know how things work, because I know they are two topics quite different from each other, but I really can't make another channel for the sake of my sanity. I already am managing way too many social media platforms and accounts, so I can't add a new one. Since I'm going to start posting more vlogs with a steady schedule, I don't want to annoy you. This is why I would like to know your thoughts about it. Going back to the setup, I really made simple spreads, nothing fancy or complicated since I don't use these initial pages a lot. I just added a cover to personal debut and add some artistic touches, then I went on and did a year at a glance kind of page, it's the one filled with the mini calendars, it's useful when you quickly need to know the structure of a month. I abused my calendar stamp since I couldn't write all of that with my hand, especially since I made more pages using all the calendars. I wanted to keep being healthy and not strain my hand. I already write on my own the calendars when I make my hobby tracker pages and it's a nightmare, I couldn't add more to it. Then I created my future log spread and I had to divide it into two pages. The design and layout is basically the same, I just changed the washi tape. This spread is useful to write down future events, so you won't forget them even if they happen in a couple of months or so. I found three markers in palette with the washi tapes, and since I knew they were going to be used as highlighters or to do decorative lines to write on, I picked pastel colors. This way they wouldn't stand out too much and make the reading difficult. Finally, I used the last two pages to add a goal section and an achievement one. They are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to write down at the start of the year, or <laughs> November as in my case, the goals I would like to reach. They may be related to my work life or my personal one, it doesn't matter. They just need to be things that makes me feel accomplished and happy. And for the last spread, at the end of each month, I'm going to pick something that I felt like it was an achievement for me and write it down. It doesn't need to be a big event, just something I'm proud of. This is how I prepare my new bullet journal, and now I'm fired up and ready to start my new monthly setup. I really hope you enjoy the process, the pages, and the chat with me. 
if you are not yet subscribed and you reach this point of the video please consider subscribing to support me and to enjoy more content have a lovely start of the week see you very soon with either my studio blog or november plan with me bye bye and stay safe